It's the show that magicians around the globe don't want you to see. The Masked Magician is back, out of hiding, daring to expose the world's most highly guarded secrets. You'll find out how they perform amazing appearances, death-defying escapes, baffling levitations, astounding vanishes, mind-blowing sleight of hand, and impossible illusions. No magician is too famous. No trick too big. No secret too sacred. The magician's code will be forever broken on magic's biggest secrets finally revealed. Tonight, the masked magician pulls back the curtain and exposes the secrets to making an armored bomb squad vehicle disappear and surviving walking through the razor sharp blades of an industrial turbo fan. Plus, the truth behind trading places with a cunning assistant. Plunging a rose through a woman's heart and slicing her in two. And much more, right now on Magic's Biggest Secrets, finally revealed. To begin, the Masked Magician will attempt an illusion with this very official and very imposing armored bomb squad vehicle. Borrowed, of course, from the city's finest. To prove that it's real, he walks around the truck. careful to point out the emergency barricades that have been set up behind it. No one dare approach this from the rear, lest they be crossing an official police line. His assistants enter, carrying two more regulation barriers for the front and back of the vehicle. He doesn't want this truck going anywhere. Or does he? While the assistants flank the corners of the truck, the magician calls for a large curtain to be lowered in front of the entire scene. There are the wheels of the truck and the legs. The girls are still there. Let's check the alignment on the front end. Yep, the wheels are still there and look carefully for the legs. What would the masked man do without his assistance? Keep your eye on the wheels of the truck. Remember, this is one continuous shot. No camera tricks are involved. The curtain lowers to completely cover the vehicle, and the magician summons for it to rise. It's gone! So where did the three-ton vehicle go? He steps into the place where it was once parked to prove it's vanished into thin, slightly smoky air. The masked magician has done the impossible yet again. But this is one crime scene that bears investigation. How did the masked magician make a three-ton bomb squad vehicle disappear without a trace? Here are the secrets. The armored bomb squad vehicle is a genuine truck, but I can assure you there is no armor plating. When we open the door, you can see that its interior has been stripped clean. Everything is gone including the polyester carpet and rubber mats. Even the engine has been removed in order to make the vehicle as light as possible. We'll show you why in a minute. The magician never bothers to show us the inside of the car. The flashing police lights on top and the phony emblem on the side are all it takes to make it look like the real thing. The police barricades add the final touch of authenticity. The girls add another level of distraction. With the barricades in place, it looks like the car can't drive away even if it could, but it won't need to. Hanging directly above are four heavy-duty steel aircraft cables. When the magician motions for the curtain to be lowered, 
the cables are simultaneously lowered behind it. The curtain stops just above the wheels. This allows the magician a chance to distract the audience from what is really going on behind the curtain. Here's the view you don't see. The cables connect to four points that have been securely welded to the vehicle. Two in front, and two more in the rear. These hooks have been painstakingly positioned for proper balance. Once the curtain is lowered, the four beautiful assistants grab the cables and attach them to the secret hooks. They do this as quickly as possible so that from the front, the audience doesn't know anything devious is going on above those lovely legs. These super strong cables are attached to a powerful winch, which is hidden high in the rafters. The curtain lowers, and here's another secret. Hidden in the wings is a stagehand who operates the winch. He flips a switch, and the vehicle begins to rise. Even with the guts removed, this baby still weighs more than a ton, so you can bet that winch has been selected for double capacity. The truck rises just a foot or two above the bottom of the curtain, and the rest of the lifting is simultaneous. The vehicle is suspended just behind the curtain, so the audience assumes it has vanished. Without the curtain in place, you can see that it's merely being lifted into the air by the four steel cables. The girls surround the magician and the audience has been fooled again. What a life. The magician will now attempt to impress a young lady with his supernatural powers. First, he's got to find the perfect accomplice. Looks like he sees what he needs, a dead fly. He scrapes the fly into his palm and holds it in his outstretched hand. It's dead as a doornail. He flips it back and forth between his palms and offers it to the girl. Brave soul. She doesn't even flinch. He waves his hands over the fly to infuse it with his magic spell. And how about this? The spell, or the young lady, has put some life in his fly. Talk about a girl who could raise the dead. The fly's moving around, but can he still do what flies do best? Yep, there he goes, off to ruin another picnic. And that's how to defy the laws of life and death and bring a fly back to life by magic. So how does the magician take a dead fly and bring it back to life? The secret is simple, scientific, and safe. It wouldn't even harm a fly. First of all, the fly isn't really dead. It just appears that way. In fact, it's just chilling. During cold months, flies hibernate, making them look more dead than alive. Before the illusion began, the magician put a few flies on ice in this chest to trick them into a hibernating state. His assistant places one of the chilled out flies on the windowsill so the magician can pretend he found it there by chance. This is where he does some acting. Hey, look, a dead fly, just what I always wanted. But there is a secret to how he can make the frozen fly defrost so quickly. Before the trick began, the magician and his assistant warmed up their hands in preparation for the fly. The warm hands helped speed up the time it takes for the fly to thaw. A few seconds of contact with their body heat and the fly awakens from his frozen slumber. The hot television lights are a big help too, but soon he's ready to fly off to a better climate. And that's how the magician plays Dr. Frankenstein, giving life back to the dead. But we know his secret. Coming up, the secrets street magicians don't want you to know. Find out how they pull a car registration straight through a windshield without breaking the glass. Bite a quarter in half. 
and communicate with spirits using only a piece of junk. Plus, the magician exposes one of magic's oldest and baffling escapes. Then, find out how to impale a girl with a rose and slice her in half with a medieval torture device. And it's one of the most dangerous illusions ever. See how the magician walks through a spinning industrial fan and lives to show you how it's done. When magic's biggest secrets finally revealed returns. For his next delusion, the masked magician is a trick that street magicians have used to fool their unsuspecting victims. While cruising a parking lot, he happens upon a random car with the registration displayed inside the windshield. He makes sure we can see that the registration is definitely underneath the glass. But you know, he's up to something. Walking alone in a deserted parking lot? Let's watch. He covers the registration with his hand, rubs the glass, and now look at this. He's reached through the glass and is pulling the registration slip out. This has got to be illegal. So much for expensive car alarms. The owner of this vehicle is in for quite a shock. No chips, brakes, or cracks. It's safety glass after all. And the magician has registered another hit. I bet he can even open the door lock without a wire hanger. I think it's safe to say that the magician doesn't really reach through the glass of a random car and pull out the registration. But how does he do it? The first secret is the car isn't random at all. This one has a beautiful assistant hiding in the trunk. Looks like a late model. We see the magician cover the registration with his hand, but what we don't see is that inside the car is a piece of fishing line taped to the back of the slip and running through the car into the trunk. When the hidden assistant gives this line a tug, the registration pulls away from the inside of the window and drops out of view. Here's an angle you don't see. She tugs, and the slip flies. The magician secretly hid a duplicate registration in his hand before the trick began. With his hand against the glass, we never see it. Until, of course, he goes through the magical motions of pulling it through the glass. Actually, he's just pulling it out of his hand. From this view inside the car, you can see just how he does it. And that's how he breaks the law without breaking the glass. This classic illusion is called the assistant's revenge. You'll find out why in a minute. The magician begins by showing off his latest restraining device. This one resembles an upright wooden rack. It's got a stock for the neck and heavy leather straps with chrome buckles to confine its victim. But the magician's not going to restrain himself. Not when he's got pretty girls around. He calls in one of his lovely assistants and charms her into obediently stepping into place. Looks like she's done this kind of thing before. With her hands up against the stocks, the magician begins to secure her to the rack with the leather straps. 